Hello! I want to share with you the reasons why smart systems will create a ripple effect of scaling because what happens is when your systems are set up, when you have really, really strong foundations, like building a house, it allows you to then be able to grow from there. So we lay the concrete, we build the walls, we put the windows and the doors in and we pop the roof on last. It creates this safe space and it creates this, this home, yeah, where people can grow and where a family can be started. It's exactly the same for your business. What I'm seeing is a lot of coaches that are bragging about 40, 50, 60 thousand dollar cash months, and I know for a fact that there's no system set up whatsoever. What will happen here, without a doubt, is burnout. 110% because they're doing a lot of the heavy lifting themselves. Secondly, what will happen is no predictability. Okay, now if we don't have predictability in our business, this is the piece that allows time freedom. This is the piece that allows a, uh, a system that will scale with or without you. So when we build out very, very smart systems, when we have a plan, we're actually putting on our CEO pants and we're really looking at our business from a, from a strategy perspective where what is your business going to look like in the next five to ten years? And making sure that we reverse engineer those systems to suit how your business is growing now, but also what it needs to look like in five or ten years' time. So building out very, very strong foundations and very, very smart systems is something that I believe is a non-negotiable if you want to build a business that does six-figure months and creates millions and millions of dollars a year, if not millions in a month, okay? So in order to do this, I'm gonna share with you some of the foundations and, and what they look like. So firstly, obviously, for us, um, when we build out a system, the main piece, the mothership, is the website, okay? And the reason for that is because that domain is connected to your email marketing, it's connected to your URL for your courses, and this is what creates uh, your business to look tidy. This is what all of your, your systems will look tidy because everything is attached to that business name melaniebrand.com melaniebrand.com forward slash five day challenge whatever that is so firstly we want to make sure that everything is firing from that one domain that url so that it looks nice and tidy and professional secondly from there we want to make sure your emails are set up so we've got you know team at support at whatever your domain is again allowing it to look uh, like an entity okay which is very 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 important what happens is when people get your email and it's mail at hotmail.com or mailb at gmail.com it breeds a a certain amount of uh in authority for where your business should be okay so again people may still work with you that's fine but it will, it, it's coming from an immature business growth place, which is not where we want to act from. So from moving forward from there, we want to have some email marketing set up so that when people are coming into your space, we're able to nurture them, but we're also able to get the information that we need. So for example, when people book a call with me, they will start to get a series of emails which will share my story, who I am, what I'm about, what I've created, but also allow them to hit reply and tell me about them as well, which is so useful because when somebody gets on a call with me, I already know who they are, what they do, what, they, what their business is and what it is that they're looking for, which is very, very helpful for me to be able to, you know, get them the information that's needed. So from there, a booking system is absolutely key because again, as a business owner, this is going to remove human error, okay? So this is gonna remove double bookings, it's gonna remove sending the wrong Zoom links, it's gonna remove 
uh, any issues that you might have around a booking system. But also, uh, you know, uh, so many times people will say, oh, you yeah, book me in for 3 p.m. You're busy at the time. The kids are screaming. You're making dinner and you actually forget to put it into your calendar as well. So booking calendars, uh, booking systems can remove that human error. Um, but also allow you to streamline your systems. So automatically generating Zoom codes, automatically putting it in your calendar, sending reminders to you and to the client as well. So again, giving you this level of professionalism uh, that you might not have at the moment. So from there, and we do all of this in an ecosystem. So all of this is built out in one place. The reason for this is it removes uh, the need to have specialists in every area inside your business. So you don't need a website editor and an email marketer and a course creator. And you know, you can literally train one person or two people inside your organization to run your ecosystem, therefore reducing costs inside your business, therefore increasing profit, which is why we're all here, right? You do not need to have 25 different subscriptions for all of the things that you need. Having something inside an ecosystem also allows you to continue to grow and expand no matter what it is that you want to bring into place. So customization um, is something that's definitely doable so that you can continue to grow your system no matter where your business takes you. Okay, so from there, you can build out courses, memberships, membership areas, subscriptions, magazines, directories, whatever it is that you want to bring into place inside your business can be done inside the ecosystem, allowing this well-oiled machine. Now, there are many other ways that you can bring in, uh, that you can bring uh, automi uh, automation into your business, okay? But what I see a lot of is people that have a website built over here and emails built over there and a course built over there and subscriptions absolutely everywhere. Now at the start of your business, it's probably not gonna hurt you too much. The subscription costs won't hurt you too much. But if you were to have a predictable selling system put into place and leads coming in on tap, what will happen is all of these subscriptions that you have will start to request that you need to upgrade because you have a, a larger email list and you have more members joining and all of these things start to happen which can start to cost thousands and thousands of dollars per month so it's not necessarily the right now that might be hurting you but it will definitely be hurting you in the future if you start to scale and really expand on your program suite, your services um, and what it is that you offer. So really working with us is about getting you to step into that CEO mindset, what your business looks like now, but what you're going to need it to look like in five or 10 years time in order for your exit strategy to be able to come into play. So a lot of people don't think about their exit strategy. They're like, I'm just trying to think about getting clients right now and earning the money and that's fine. But if you don't have an exit strategy, you're throwing spaghetti at the wall, okay? You don't actually know what it is that you're building, nor do you know how it needs to be built in order for you to be able to execute that exit strategy. So for me, my exit strategy was to retire into my business, allowing it to be a well-oiled machine where I just showed up to work with the clients that I wanted to work with. The rest of the system would take care of everybody else that came in. The touch points would still be amazing. The customer journey would still be amazing. They're still getting everything that they want to, but the business that I've built, the business that I've put my heart and soul into isn't consuming my soul, okay? And it's allowing me to actually create the time freedom, the location freedom, and the, the feeling that I was chasing when it came to building a business online. So there's a few key points in what I'm sharing with you today, and that is you need to know your exit strategy. You need to have reverse engineered your systems to make sure that they suit what the ideal outcome is that you wanna build. And then you need to make sure that your the systems and the way that you built it allows for you to scale seamlessly without disconnections and integrations going wrong and having to have you know 400 zaps a day happening because you've got so many things all over the place.
place. So really, if you want to be stepping into that CEO status and you want to be building a business from a really, really soul aligned place, where it's creating you exactly what it is that you want in your business, you must, 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 must pay attention to your systems. And also, you know, if you're a coach and you're in that space of teaching people also how to have smart systems or how to be able to scale their business, it's very, very key that you have something that's duplicatable as well for people to be able to put into place inside their business. So hopefully this makes a little bit of sense to you and gets you thinking about how your systems are set up and also allowing you to open up your, your vision and open up what's possible inside your business in order for you to step into CEO status and scale your business extremely fast.